What's up, party animals? It's your boy Kai, and welcome. Or I'm, I'm also with um. Uh, May. You forgot my name. Oh my God. <laughs> I've been through some shit. Give me a minute, I. Right? <laughs> and I've been. Yeah, we both been through it. This game is. Oh my God. Just. Mm. They gave me a dog. They they tried to serve me a dog burger bowl. Better serve me dog. Now I'm gonna have to put the paws on them. And but we were able to uh make a deal with the burger bar lady. Yeah. We now have to find a machine to modernize the method of making two thousand burgers. Pretty sure it's two thousand. Uh like two thousand. Yeah, well, okay. yeah. Yeah. You better be giving us some good money for gonna make two thousand dollars a day. But anyways, let's go look around and see where we can find that machine. Alright. Uh, place I can pick up Ooh, probably not. She probably wouldn't know anything about that. Mm. Yeah. Um. Ooh, let's check like uh, around like close to the library. So like to the left, I think. El Rapido. El El Rapido. We always gotta deal with our goddamn street safety. Yeah, yeah. Check my way to me. Oh my god, you fat bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Obesity. <laughs> let's, let's not. Let's not let's talk not. to him. Firstly, I gotta roast the, I gotta roast these three on a rock here. Firstly, this blonde motherfucker look he, he looks like your name either either Brad, Chad, or Clyde. One of the three. And y'all two. Y'all two is either twins or the most basic white girls that follow every trend to the letter to the point where y'all act like y'all have no personality. Anyway, let's keep it pushing. Who are you? I have. No. Can we talk? Yeah, talk to her. You guys talk. Oh, take it to the zoo. That might come in handy. Let's talk to her. Bro, my stomach is fighting. Not like and not like I need the toilet way. I'm not uh, like you know, bro. I'm about to eat the drywall type of way. We're not settling for a doggy burger. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm. I'm I will never be that hungry. <laughs> what are you dressed up as? A polar bear. Bears are bigger and fatter. Mm. Thanks. Don't, don't say that in the wrong place. You will get jumped. But bears are bigger and fatter. I'll take that as a compliment. Or, <laughs> I guess this is the best outfit I could find last minute because I was not prioritizing this job. You can just imagine that I'm a friendly polar bear, okay? That is not true. Polar bears polar, are the farthest. Polar bears are the most aggressive. And why are you dressed up like that? I'm helping a friend spread the word about a zoo. It's got some neat, beautiful animals that you can go and see. And there are. And what? What? No. Are there any polar bears at the zoo? Oh, they're not. Let's be real. <laughs> well, no. Of course, that's why you don't know what they're like. <laughs> this is just so She has a good point, let's be real here. <clears throat> Anyways, you like animals, right? Yes, animals are cool. Fantastic! Because we've organized a game for boys and girls just like you. You can win a free ticket, a free entry ticket to the zoo if you answer correctly a series of questions. What and if, if I, you, what if, when she said boys and girls like you, what if I just hit her with a I'm non-binary? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm binary. I'm non-binary. I, I identify as a helicopter. So this doesn't apply to me. 
This doesn't apply to me. I identify a graph. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't matter. And if you don't, it doesn't matter. You can try again until you get them right. Although, if you give up and have the money, you can always buy a ticket. What do you think? Do you want to give it a go? We can try. Why not? We yeah. I'm going to try and get a ticket for free. What are the questions for the competition? Do you wanna do you wanna have a go? Excellent! Let me explain. One of my favorite fairy tales. Uh one of my favorite fairy tales from when I was your age is the town musicians of Bremen. Okay. Okay. Why does why why does that sound familiar? Is that an actual thing? Uh, hold on a second. I got it. Hey, Google. No, I have the book. What do you mean you have? You read? I have the. It's, yes, I read. You can I, read. I, I, yes, I, yeah, yes, I can read. Unlike you, I, I enjoy reading. I enjoy reading. I yeah. enjoy reading web comics. I, I enjoy reading very good books, and the town musicians of Bremen was one of them. I don't know where I got it from, but I have it. <laughs> uh, okay. Do you know it? No, not at all. <laughs> I was, I was the, I was the one kid that didn't steal from the book fair. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't steal from a book fair. You do realize how your tone like makes me doubt you heavily, yes? You from the book fair? You from the book fair? I I was the one kid that didn't. I'm disappointed. I was the one kid that didn't. I wish I did. There were kids stealing from book fairs. I'm so disappointed. You can get those bendy pencils for like a cent at Amazon, but whatever. I was wicked broke. Good. You'll just say yes? Yeah, well, you don't know it, so it doesn't ring any bells to you. I mean, you could give me the answers! I'm not sure. So press yes. Alright. Excellent. This will be easy for you. You'll see. It tells the story of four animals which got old and no one wants them anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but when they meet each other, they combine forces to take control of the country, of a country house, and they do amazing things like living from music. Anyway, like I said, the Bremen musicians were four animals, and to win a free ticket to the zoo, you need to tell me what animals they are. <laughs> Hmm, hmm. Yeah, uh... Hey, Google! Nope. It was a... a ch it was a chicken, a cat, a dog, and a donkey. Uh -huh. Alright. Completely. This is how we'll do... I'll give you four groups of animals. And from each group, you'll tell me... Which animal was one of, was one of the musicians? Got it? Okay. Very good. Let's start with the first group. Snake, vulture, cat, or spider? Cat. Cat. Okay, dog. The cat. Mm. Well, well. More animals. Bear, rooster, rat, or crow? It's the rooster. Among those animals is a Bremen musician. Which one is it? It's the rooster. I'm gonna hit that cocka doodle doodle baby dog. The rooster. Okay. Let's move on to the third group. Elephant, tiger, rhinoceros, donkey. 
One of those was a musician. Do you know which one? Donkey. Damn, that motherfucker from Shrek. He, he got a gig, I guess. Shit. The donkey. Aha. Okay. And to finish the last four. Deer, pig, dog, or wolf. Which is the last Bremen musician? It's the dog. That motherfucker went bow wow, big dog. I don't. Excellent. You got it right. The musicians of Bremen were a cat, a rooster, a dog, and a donkey. Thought you would be easy. Yeah, it was easy. Well, here's your free ticket. Well deserved. Give me that ticket. Give me the shit. With that ticket, you can go in and out of the zoo as much as you like. You'll see the animals at the zoo are really cool. All right. Uh, wait. How do we get to the zoo? Oh. Well, I get. Well, I guess we can just try to ask her right now. Yeah, I need to tell. I need her to tell me where to get. Where you need to tell? Tell me. Tell me. Where are they? Where are the animals? Where tell me. She? Where is the zoo? It's on the outskirts of town. You can't walk there. Well, Watch thanks me. for letting. I can't get there. Go to the bus stop next to the clothes store. When you get there, you'll see a stop sign for the zoo. It's got a ticket detector, so you need to. Get close to it with one, and a special vehicle will come and get you in a flash. What do you mean, special vehicle? <laughs> what drug van am I getting into? <laughs> it's a white. It's it's the van. It's the van. The it's van. the van. No, not the van. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting in that. That I was already in there, in there before. <laughs> Once you go in, you don't come out, big fella. <laughs> no, leave the band. Oh, uh, I edited the video. I edited the video for that. I edited the video for them. I had so much fun with, like, the whole sequence of the band. I had so much fun with it. Okay, but anyway. Bullshit. <laughs> I don't have anything to this house to say to her, right? <laughs> nope. We got what we came for. Let's get at a paddle. Alright. Let's get her going. Yeah. Okay. Uh, store. Uh, store. No, let's go back. Let's keep going to the left. Oh, why? What's let's just see way? what else. Um, just keep going left. I'm sure there's more. Goddamn, 100% in the game. We got Charlie River Ball. Uh, why? Oh lord. The Elsa. amazing Elsa show. She Elsa, not, what happened? She did not let it go. It's not <laughs> Elsa, what happened? She clearly did not let it go because there's blood splatter over there. Oh lord. Let's talk to the lions. They might know. You can talk to the lion. Right, the hamster can talk. Why not the lions? Hello, Simba. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> He's got a sad face. Yeah. Is something the matter? I miss my cubs. Aw. If I remember correctly, um... I'm pretty sure, uh, I remember back in the day, I remember I was really fucking bored on TV one time, and they made a reboot, they were playing a reboot of, a uh, fuck, of The Lion King, where Simba had kids, I'm pretty sure his little bastard child was named Nop, not Nop, his little bastard child was named Kion. <laughs> God! A little bastard bitch was named Kion. He had a skin. 
fuck, what is that that bastard animal who is like a dickhead to literally everything for no reason? I don't know. Honey badger, that's what it is. I think that's a whole different show. No, no, no. no. It's like a spin-off. Ah, well that's probably why I've never seen it, because I've only seen the originals. I I got really bored one day and there was none to watch on TV. And this was and I just like was scrolling through shit. I'm just like fuck it, I ain't got nothing else to watch. And I just found that it was ass, don't get me wrong, but I still watched a bit of it. Nah. But yeah, Where? I miss my cups. Where are they? A week ago they left and went to the zoo. Oh, oh we might need these cups. Willingly? They said they were tired of the circus and they needed a change of scenery. They went to the zoo? But there's only one scenery? Fake plants in a fake habitat and ugly people. Yeah, no. So they went to that zoo and left me here on me on. Well, not, um, well, not completely alone. You know, my wife's here, but she's not much company. Damn. Thanks. Damn. You, you're lucky she's sleeping next to you, bro. Shit. She'd maul your ass. She'd maul, maul you. your ass. Religiously, bro. <laughs> Poor thing. I don't blame them. I did the same when I was young. Lived with my parents in a documentary recording studio, bro. Okay. <laughs> So I got tired of chasing after antelopes every day. I came here to the circus with my girlfriend, leaving my parents behind. I had the best days of my life here with my kids. But now, they're gone and it's not the same. I miss them so much. I swear to God, I saw her eyes open for like a quick second. Oh yeah, they opened. <laughs> they opened. She, she just pretended to sleep. <laughs> She heard that, oh, my wife's not much company, just like, bitch. <laughs> I feel really, <laughs> I feel really sorry for you. Can I do something for you? Well, could you go to the zoo and tell my children that I love them? Of course. Aw, what a good dad. Yeah, yes. Oh. Fantastic. Don't worry, Simba, I got you. And could you give them this? What is it? All right, I said your line. Yeah, Sorry. You go on. I already, I, I already went. All right. Antelope meatballs with the finest savannah herbs and baby wildebeest blood reduction. Uh oh, 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 Lord. <laughs> baby wildebeest. How you. <laughs> All right, buddy. Uh, the pops are chefing in, in the kitchen. Baby pops. wildebeest. Baby wildebeest blood. That is. <laughs> ethical things to that, bro. Hey, the pops are chefing it up. <laughs> I guess so. Sounds amazing. So don't eat them. They're the last ones of the batch. It's my kid's favorite meal. An old family recipe. Okay, I'll take the meatballs to your kids. I hope they're still there and haven't gone somewhere without letting me know. Don't worry, I'll find them. Thank you, small human. You're very nice. No problem. I don't like seeing animals sad. So I'll do what I can to help you. Cheer up, I'm sure your cubs miss you too. I don't know. I hope they at least like the food. Hopefully it will bring back good memories for them. I wonder what happened. Should we uh, like- wait. Uh, ask the him about the show. The blood coming, yeah, there's blood coming from under the entrance of the circus. Yeah. Yeah. What happened inside the tent? Ah, uh, a few days ago, the last performance of the 
a few, uh, a few days ago during the last performance of the afternoon session. I'll call it to the midgets block beat. Hey, our colleagues, the little people block the exit. How dare you? <laughs> I don't think that's the word either. It's fine. There's multiple <laughs> words. Our colleagues who suffer from dwarfism block the exit. Here. Our dwarf, our dwarven companions block the exit. No! <laughs> <laughs> it's canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Continue, I apologize. And cut all the people in the public and the circus workers in half. No one was oh. left whole. Oh. It's fine. I can insult those small people. They murdered about a lot of people. No. Oh. Do not generalize. We do not. We here at Chemo Studios do not encourage you to bully people with dwarfism. I'm not bullying people with dwarfism. I'm, I'm, bu I'm not bullying people with dwarfism. I'm bullying people with dwarfism that killed a lot of people. It's different. Uh huh. Whoa. Why did they do that? Well, they came out on stage in the middle of a performance asking for a raise. Because they were earning half as much as the other performers. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Ah. You got it, but it's kind of funny. No. It's kind of funny. I, I want it. This. The boss asked the audience, and they replied that. Given the midgets were half the size of normal people, uh, sorry. <laughs> Given the people who suffer from dwarfism were half the size of normal people, half the salary should be enough. I don't think they were particularly happy about that. Because they took a few swords that were lying around, and the stage ended up filled with full of half people. Damn. Huh. So now everyone her earns half the salary. Makes sense. Oh lord. Look at the, oh, the concern on that uh, on that lion's face. Yeah, this is them. That boy was like, shing, shing, shing. You should go. I, 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 I'll see you later, okay? Okay. How the fuck I get out of here? Ah, okay. I clicked the. Yeah! Button. Assign advertising to the zoo. Find the polar bear and win a free ticket. Yes, we already found oh. it. And we got free tickets yeah, to the zoo. So, yeah, so just use the ticket on uh, the sign. Alright, I guess. Not sure about that. Not sure about that. What? Hold on. Uh. It says we should try something else. You do realize the ticket is small, right? And it's... Oh! <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I was using the staff card. <laughs> Why would you you? I, I had a feeling you were, you were using the staff card. <laughs> yeah. Look, that, why that motherfucker still let me have that goddamn staff card, bro? Because she's stupid. We don't know if that's a she. Here it comes. Yeah. Is that a bus? What you mean? If, is that a bus? No, what do you mean? Uh, oh! Oh! Oh, Lord! <laughs> what the fuck is that? Whoa, so cool. It's a tiger bus. Cool. Maybe it's a big cat. Not sure. Is this a Ghibli reference? Hope not. Anyways, it goes to the zoo, so let's get on. What was that Ghibli movie with the with the with the cat? I don't even remember that shit. My neighbor Totoro. Yeah. There are so many animals that 
cool. That's a that dinosaur. Kind of <laughs> it's a dinosaur. That's a, that's it's a dinosaur. That's a velociraptor. <laughs> oh lord, the neck. <laughs> yep. And right here is a is a regular show reference. Not two monkeys. And right here is a Pingu reference. And oh lord! And a Happy Feet reference. Oh look, the lion cubs! Let's go talk to them. Hey, you little dust for beach. Hello. What? Who's shitting your cereal again? You probably haven't eaten. They don't. They're like, well, they're the only ones who have who like have food in their bowl and they ain't touched it. I guess. I'm going to give him uh, some meatballs. Yes. I think I've got some for you. I don't want any stale peanuts, thanks. They're not. That is such. I I can feel the passive aggressiveness. <laughs> From over here, bro. Jesus. It's a meatball. You like take it? They're going to like it. Yum, 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 yum. The cheese. Okay. I did. He's happy, gang. I feel like your your sibling over there would appreciate it. But okay. You like it? Yeah, of course I do. I'll never forget my old man's meatballs with weird herbs. Weird herbs. That thing with the wildebeest blood really gives them just the touch they need. <laughs> baby, baby wildebeest beast blood. Primary thing made a wildebeest blood. <laughs> It has to be baby because that's where they have the most amount of nutrients. Get them so, so you can you can say this about killing baby wildebeest, but I can't say anything about a dwarven companion. Who are we gonna get yelled at, Peter? Nobody takes Peter seriously. You know this. Fair enough, I guess. Mm -hmm. Glad you like them. Your dad asked me to give them to you. Yeah. Actually, for the two of you, but you ate them all. Doesn't matter, my brother's asleep. He hasn't even noticed you here. So you met my old man? Are you gonna bring me some more meatballs? I think he Please? said <laughs> Please. I think he said there aren't any more. Well, that's pretty crappy, cause the food around here is rubbish. Damn it. <laughs> I wanna eat antelope meatballs every day. He says the food is disgusting. Like that yes. one? Right. <laughs> yes. Yes, ask him about it. Is the food here really that bad? It's not just bad, it's awful. Every day it's just different versions of the same crap I can't even bring myself to sniff. I wish my old man was the cook here. He really knows his way around the kitchen. Obviously, so. Uh, let's get on, I guess. Yeah. I've got to go, okay? Ladies. They look so sad. He's back to sad now. Let's go check him. Let's go in the door. Let's Too open the sad. door. <laughs> Break it and enter it. Yeah, baby. <laughs> open the door. Get on the floor. Baby, look, there's a dinosaur. <laughs> what? Open the door, get on the floor. Why the fuck is there a dinosaur? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Let's talk Ooh. to this lady. Yes, yes. she has a big old machine. Hey, hey, give us your machine. Hello. Machine or we'll shake you. About it, damn. Oh, she got a go vegan sign. Oh no. Oh lord. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hello. Sorry, I was so focused on programming this machine that I didn't see you. Although now I think about it, only the zoo staff are supposed to be in here. And that's just me. 
Bauer. Bah, it doesn't matter. What can I do for you? I love the fact. I love the fact that like compared to, like who at like like the, like hey, the fact that like Agatha through from what I've seen of her, she has been like so like pretty rude, like pretty much every person she's come into contact with. But the one lion, the one animal she's come into contact with is like, oh yeah, I can do that for you, poor thing. Like, oh, oh, I feel so sorry for you. The one guy that lost that lost his his like card that asked for like help inside of this. No, bitch. No, fuck you. I got things to do. <laughs> she only likes animals. She doesn't like people. Exactly. And she she has already learned people suck. And she's seven. I mean, yeah, but like, shit. You <laughs> you try to get people to buy it to buy your shit. You can at least be nicer. No, she's not the one who talks to people. She's the one who cuts up the meat. Yeah, but you gotta like cut, like articulate. Like, Man, I'm trying to get people to buy my stuff. I can be nicer to people so that maybe they buy my stuff. Mm. Uh, uh, but, what are the uh, I like the zoo animals. She looked busy with that machine. I'm going ah, to get on the my machine. The machine. Ah. The machine. Okay. The machine. Okay. All right, the machine. What are you doing? I'm inputting recipes into the machine. For the recipes. Yeah. This one, I put together the menu of the week. Pepperoni pizza flavored plankton for the turtles. Ha! That shit tastes good, don't it? That shit tastes, that shit tastes good. That shit sound good, don't it? It's a reference. It is. Oh, is that the goddamn... Uh, <laughs> TMNT. Um, like what, the original? Uh, probably so. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Give, give, give a second. Please go if you have nothing better to do. And close the door, jackass. Alright. And continue. Ah. Triple burger. Triple burgers with extra fried cheese for the raccoon and J bud. Mm. Is that an ultimatum reference? Oh, hell ultimatum? yeah. I almost forgot about the damn episode. I think that's an ultimatum reference from Rankin Show. Yeah. That, that one burger that they got from the food truck. Invisible, silent, <laughs> bland chips for the macaw, macaws, macaws. You mean air? IT guy with a Hawaiian shirt with whipped cream toppings for the Dilophosaurus, bruh. So it's not Dilophosaurus, Also, yeah, no, that's a, I can do either a Jurassic Park or a Jurassic World reference right there. And black to see for the penguins. I still got to give I still got to think of something for the lions. I'm not sure what to give them. So, you're like the new cook? I guess so. Although, I just typed the, the recipes into the machine. Then the machine takes over, materializes ingredients out of thin air, and makes the dishes just like that. You could have solved, solved the world! You could have solved world hunger! You. Do you know how many people no, would murder no, for something no. like that? I'm gonna tell Nika. We need to pull through. We need to pull through. Hey, all right, Nika. Machine. Nika. Hey, Nika. I need. I need you to. I don't know what you can do. I need you to make this now and give it to me. Help! Help! Right. Help, bro! If we had this, we wouldn't need to kill any animals. Cause we can just like have animals next to us and like still have our meat. Yeah. No. 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 She likes to kill them. She also likes to kill. 
Yeah, this wouldn't solve her problem you at all. You would have all the, you have all the meat you need. You can just, just don't, don't murder them. Just simple as that. Just don't, don't murder them then. Ah uh, yes, then they would just have a. They would just constantly keep getting animals and do nothing with them. All right, then when you, you do get them, when you do get, get them, then take care of. No, do you do? know how much? Take care of farm animals because it's a lot more than you think it is. Yeah, and guess what? We're making we're making basically free money from being able to materialize meat out of the air and sell it to a lady. Then you know we good to go, go with all with all the money. Then when we do get the animals, we can kill them all we want. Where? Where? Where would we keep them? The abattoir. Where would? Yeah, that, that only the abattoir can only hold so much. Regardless, yeah. keep. Mm -hmm. Hmm. What do you mean it materializes ingredients out of thin air? Exactly what I said. I don't need to buy ingredients or put anything in the machine. I just have to tell the machine what they are. And the machine searches for the chemical components for what it can for what it can make them so that it can make them. Later, it follows the step the steps in the recipe, prepares everything, and cooks it. It's a bit like a cooking robot from the future. Can I marry you so I can get access to this machine? <laughs> so many boygas. So many boygas. I would, brother, 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 all it takes is, uh, is a woman who's a good cook and ha- Again, example, Rosanna Pancino, I Listen, in a goddamn kitchen, she has like candy and shit. And just sitting around constantly, like food, like probably food in the fridge that she made for like videos and shit. Dog, if I can have a wife where I just open the fridge and then I just see food, I can just either shove in the microwave or just take it out and start eating when I get when I get the menu. Nice, now. bro. You is wifey right there, bro. You may not think the same, but it. <laughs> I see. Before I had a lot of machines, and each one took care of something. Wash the veggies, peel the fruit, make the sauces, make the cuisine. I even had one for minting. <gasps> oh, yes, madam, yes. Mm. Yes, tell me more about this meat mincing machine. Mm. It took you know, a while to get used to it because the smell of meat and blood made me dizzy. I didn't have a choice. Anyways, a lot of different mach I had a lot of different machines, and each one of them did something different. They took up loads of space and used loads of electricity. But now I can do all of it with just one machine. It's amazing. Although, last week the lions arrived at the park. And I haven't found a dish that they like yet. Every day they get sadder, and I get even more worried. But I built this park to take in animals, protect them, and make them happy. So I need to find something they like. But they're going to die of hunger and sadness. You wanna know something crazy that's actually honestly quite sad? What? If we if we if if we if we get a if we get a machine like this, if technology gets to a point where a machine like this is able to exist, they probably still make you pay like three ninety nine for a burger. Right, let's be real here. They 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 literally it, like it basically it basically costs nothing to use this machine. They probably still have you pay like three ninety nine for a burger. Mm, electricity. Electricity, my ass. Bit. No, 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 no. If it's sick, if it's electricity, it'll probably cost a bit. It probably, like, oh, that, yeah. Electricity shit. and a lot of power to make this machine run. They'll make some sort of excuse. That for it. shit, that shit better cost 50 cents with a drink, I swear to God. Hmm. Come on. Yeah. Oh, I don't like it. the animals being sad either. Don't worry, young lady. I'm working on it. I'm going to. I'm not going to give up until I find something. You'll see. The lions will be pleased. 
with their food soon. Wait. What? Did you say you had a meat mincer? <laughs> yes. Did that machine prepare like 2,000 burgers a day? Uh-huh. Oh boy. Of course, I remember that one time the raccoon was really hungry. Bring me. The mincer <laughs> The mincer was at its full capacity. And he prepared 2,584 burgers in one day. Damn. Why do you ask? I need a machine. Do you still have it? Yes, but why would a girl like you need a meat mincer? None of your business. Okay, Agatha, honey, you're asking for her shit. <laughs> you're asking for her shit. Did she ask? That's why you need her shit. You kind of need to give a reason. Now that you have the machine that prepares food with just the recipe, you don't need the mint mint the mint the, 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 the meat mincer, do you? The mint meat, sir. Shut up! I have, I have a speech <laughs> impediment! <laughs> you almost said it too! You almost said it twice! Fuck off, you little bitch! <laughs> I don't think so! <laughs> Fucking British bitch! <laughs> cool, I've got a proposition for you. I'll help you find a recipe which the lions like, and you give me the meat mincing machine. What do you think? Wait, hang on a minute. I had a study, lots of biology, zoology, and nutrition, to invest and find out what the animals like to eat. How are you going to help me find a recipe for the lions? It's nice that you, you are concerned about them and want to make them happy. But you're still very young, and I don't think you can help me. It's okay. I a lot of animals. I can help you. You'll see. Oh, you're so cute. You know, uh, you know lots of, you know lots about animals, do you? Okay, very good. Let's play Feed the Lions. Let's see. Tell me the ingredients and the instructions for preparing the dish you'd like to try. I know a recipe that I'm sure they'll like, but I don't know how to prepare it. I need to get hold of the recipe. Ah, you said it like you already had one you knew how to prepare. Well, if you find that recipe, you know where I am. I'll carry on with my investigations, okay? What are you say? It'll give me the meat mince machine if I bring you the recipe, right? Of course, no problem. Cool, see you later. Back to the... See you soon! Back to the circus! Back to the circus! Back to the circus! This lady is basically just... Are we just gonna ignore the fact that this lady is basically just reverse tag, so... Goodbye! Open your... Oh. Open your... Get yeah. on your floor! Oh fuck, there's a dinosaur! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now it's time to give her the meat, the recipe. I found a recipe for the lions. Oh, really? Yes. Yes, it's for animal meatballs with herbs and other things. God knows what he put in this. Here you go! And how do you know what the lions are going to- How do you know that the lions are going to like this? I told you, I know loads about animals. The more- or... The less you know loads about animals, the more you talk to their dad, but then... Come on, but the rest more of the machine- More like a lot of animals <coughs> are talking to their dad. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Put the rest of the machine! Okay, okay, I'm on it. Let's see, fresh ingredients. Baby wildebeest blood. Gross. These kids these days have a lot of imagination. Hey, the recipe is real. I didn't make it up. Of course it is. <laughs> she looks offended. Nothing's happening.
It needs all the instructions before it'll start. Hang on a sec. Ready. Now it's the machine's turn. Ready the ingredients, prepare, cook, and serve! That shit sound good. That shit, that shit sound good, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that shit's... Ah, uh, the undulating tube! I don't sound good no more. And it's quick too, bro! <laughs> I can't believe it! What's up? It worked, didn't it? Yes! The lions love your dish! They're not hungry anymore, and they're happy! Where did you get the recipe? Their dad. I just asked his dad lion for it and he gave it to me. That's it. Dad lion? Yeah. Hey, now that the lions are happy with the food, will you give me the meat mincer? I've got things to do. Ah, yes. It's just that... What? Are you sure you won't hurt yourself with it? <laughs> she doesn't want to get sued, and you know what? That's fair. I don't want to get sued. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course I won't you get- You gave a seven-year-old a meat mixer machine! <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a whole soup. It's a whole entire- The child's machine is so big that the child can fit in it! What are you thinking? What are you up to? Give me a whole damn soup, you dumb bitch! <laughs> of course I won't. Give it to me. <laughs> Anyways, I've seen kids with toys much uh, more dangerous than a meat mincer. Beyblade, Beyblade, <laughs> let it rip! Although the machine is heavy, so you won't be able to carry it on your own. I could send it by messenger. How does that work? You get, you give me your address. Give me the address where you want to be You Tell me where you live. <laughs> 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 where do you where do you live? With, where do you live with my mom? Where does she live with my dad? Where do you, you both live next to my neighbors? With me. <laughs> yeah, with me. Oh, yeah. Where do you all live next to my neighbors? Alright. Where, where do your neighbors live? Where do you where do your neighbors live? I won't believe you if I tell you. I'm pretty sure I would just tell me next to me. <laughs> <laughs> It's almost instantaneous. They're really quick. Okay. So. Let's see. The package that needs to be sent is the Fibononic Meat Mincer Bottle 112358. Does the recipe machine send things to? Yes, I told you this machine has a lot of functions. I have a delivery urgent. Now give me your name and the address, delivery address. Agatha Knife. The address is Butcher's Knife and Tower. Okay. Ready. Cool. Hang on. Did you say Butcher's? Yes. Why am I sending the machine to a butcher's? Why else would I need a meat mincer? Because that's where I live. What? I live with a nice butcher's. What do you mean? I can tell you if you promise to not go on about child exploitation and all of that. Okay? Do you really live in a butcher's? Yeah, I work there. I kill the animals, and my mom sells the meat. I don't believe you. Yeah, although right now we don't have any customers. Butlin from the burger bar said that if we prepared 2,000 burgers a day for her, 
she'll place all of her orders with us from now on. That's why I need to make I, that there. That's why I need to make the meat mixer. So we can put the animals in there and make burgers quicker. That's horrible. Well, you know, lady, if you really wanted to stop something like this from happening, you know, you could like sell this machine for like ninety nine. <laughs> Nine hundred and ninety nine billion dollars or a trillion if you just want to round it out. You know. Or you can expand it so that it's not just like only for the zoo. You start your own company, your you start your own food processing company where yeah. then you put stuff it's just like uh like a bunch of like meat processing and vegetable processing um companies out of business making you the so monopolized like you making yourself the sole monopolized like owner to like you know all the food therefore everything would have steady prices and literally if anybody wanted anything they'd have to literally go through you exactly exactly and if somebody made a cheaper version of your product which it would probably be worse let's be real here you could just make your prices like a cent lower than theirs why because no nah, they're going to or Oh no, monopolizing it. It'd be illegal to make. Hmm. Oh no, you can monopolize it and rule it with an iron fist like Disney does. Because <laughs> let's just say nobody wants. Like nobody's gonna really like fight you if you are literally the only person who's able to make something like that. Exactly. Right? No, it's not. It's really cool. Right now, if the animals are a bit scared of me because you're trying to murder them, how would you feel if I wanted to go murder you for me? Of course they're scared of you! Scared of you. you! You're an animal assassin, girl! I'm not an assassin. Eh. Well, no, she's right about that. She's not an assassin. Assassin- Assassins are sneaky. She walks up to you unless you know what she's about to do. That's the vet who kills dogs, cats, iguanas, and other animals that aren't for eating. And sells them to restaurants and supermarkets. What? You're all nuts! What are you doing? Shit, I can't cancel the delivery. They've already delivered the meat mixer. Damn, they quick. Ah, cool. No, it's not cool. Just give it a meat mixer to a child butcher. You tricked me. You said you liked animals. But I do like them. I want the lions and their dad to be happy too. That's why I went to get the recipe. Well, for that and for the meat mixer, of course. Get out. I never want to see you in my park again. Tough. I've got a ticket that says I can come here whenever I want. That, that she made, but okay. Get out of here, I said. Okay, but I'm going because I want to. And I'm not an animal assassin. Help! Damn! I don't like her anymore. Okay, but you gotta admit, she kinda do got a point though. Like, you can't be fully mad at the lady. She do kinda got a point. Oh god, what if in like a fourth, like, cause I know like there's this game, Mechanica, and then Colossus Down. What if like, mm -hmm. what if like in like, if they decide to make a fourth game, they're like, hey, this lady expedited her, her thick Mango Protocol, if you do this idea, I want a cameo of some kind. Uh, are they like, like, hey, uh, you know, this lady is able to make is able to make a bunch of burgers and food and meat stuff without like any killing of animals. And she's a trillionaire now. And now the nice butcher shop is back out of business. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah. No. Huh? No, just all of a sudden just act like, now I have to spread my religion across the globe. <laughs> now I got now I gotta spread my religion across the globe. Bastard. What, you would you rather have cultist cultist chicken or or li literally synthetic syn synthetic but so far as I've just I've seen it's not 
like bad in any way. Mm. Knife put this up, right? Huh? Oh, oh, we're ending it. Yeah, I think it's oh. a great place to end. That's what we needed. I was about to walk in a nice butcher shop, but all right, cool. Yeah, yeah but uh, let's say that's a great place to end it, right? Yup, hold up, you fucking save. I just like, give me, give me your dome. Yo, hold up, pause. You ever just like, this is like, this is like a weird little cut, like stopping, like the conversation, like before the end of the video. But, but you ever just like, just like, realize how easy it is so like if you had enough like i don't have enough strength for that you don't realize how like easy it is just like if you had enough strength to just palm a child's head and yoink them and just pluck them off the ground what's wrong with you no nah, i'm just saying like, you were, like if you could get your entire hand around a child you don't realize how easy it is just like pluck that motherfucker Hope you, know. you all enjoyed. Uh, <laughs> hope you all enjoyed. Uh, like, subscribe, all that shit. And we'll party with you animals next time.